I was diagnosed with diabetes nine months ago. My doctor put me on a medication called glipizide and a medication called metformin. The diagnosis came about because I had been feeling very, very lethargic. I went to the doctor and when he took my blood glucose, it was over 300. He had me go to the lab to double check it. And while I was standing in line, some lady said it would be a good idea if I sat on the bench. And apparently I passed out and hit the floor because the next thing I saw were all these people in a circle around me. And then I was lifted under a gurney and watched the ceiling going by to the ER. My blood sugar was about near 500. I don't know how that, well, how that works, but that's what happened. So they put me on metformin and glipizide. Gave me a bunch of material to read. I was very busy at the time, and I just did what I was told. And they told me what I could eat and not eat. And I was pretty faithful in that regard. So I came up here very open-minded, but a little skeptical. I'm an attorney by nature, and I sometimes I believe nothing of what I hear and half of what I see with my own eyes. <laughs> There's an expert for everything, you know. When, when my son and I arrived here uh, and we started the green smoothies, I continued to test my blood. And what I found was that virtually immediately, by the end of the first day, it was within a range I could tolerate. It was to like 147. And by the end of the second day, even after meals, it was at like 127, 130. And from what I'd been taught by my doctor in the booklet that they handed me out, a little reading I'd done, that, you know, 80 to 120 was about what I should shoot for. And I've been there ever since. I feel great. I can't remember how long it's been since I felt this good. Well, yeah, I thought I was gonna die. I don't know, there's nothing I could do about it. I didn't know diabetes was as bad as it is. I didn't know you lose your feet from it and your eyes, you go blind. I was very depressed. And I'd gone through some major loss. Stress is a very bad thing. I lost my oldest son, tragic death, May 20th. My dad passed away, my 97-year-old dad passed away in my arms two, two Fridays ago. <laughs> so, uh, what can I say? What, what can I say but thank you? I know it works. I, I, I mean, I know it works. And the green smoothies, I, to, to tell you the truth, I, I welcome that because my diet was so constricted anyway, and taking the meds all the time and having to have them with me, you know, most of the time I felt like I, I, I was an astronaut outside the mothership. I had to make sure I had everything, you know, with me when, whenever I went. I felt tied by an umbilical cord, you know, to home. So my druthers was, don't go home, outside the home. It really, it really had an effect on me that I would have never imagined. Plus, I smoke. Now, I've almost quit, and that's not trying to be a good boy. It's just that it doesn't taste right. I, I, it doesn't seem to do what it used to do. Coffee. I used to drink seven, eight Diet Pepsis, Pepsi Max, a little commercial there. I used to drink those every day. I got up here and I, I, didn't, I didn't have any withdrawals, caffeine withdrawals, which I expected. You could have never convinced me in a million years that this was possible. So now when I leave, because I like to research, just like uh, Victoria, I'm gonna read everything I can, but really what difference does it make because I just know it works. That's what I want if it works.